Williams and the Jayhawks. Pugh, Pierce, LaFrench, Robertson, and Billy Thomas, who's coming off a 20-point game in their last outing. And for the Wildcats of Arizona and Lute Olson, here's how the lineup looks. Davison and Dickerson up front, Bramlett, Vivi, and Simon, that great backcourt, and Dickerson, who was their leading scorer last year at almost 19 a game, had a great regular season, faded a little bit near the end. That is what they did in the matchup last time out. And the Arizona backcourt, 38 to 10. This crowd is alive. There's some electricity in the air. It's got tournament flavor. It's amazing. Fifth place in a Pac-10, and they win the national championship. LaFrentz got to give the ball right now. They're trying to clear out to get away from any help. Should have had the rock. They missed getting it to him. There he got it. And he's hammered by Bramlett. Really gotten stronger physically. Rafe LaFrentz, All-American at the free throw line. He's a cover guy. He's been on lots of covers, a lot of magazines. He went through a little cold spell there. He was 10 for 29 in his two games prior to the final game in the NIT. But he's got the great stroke. He's getting a lot of attention now, especially with Pollard out of there. And they don't have to hang their heads at all. They were really very unique all year long. They're tied here with the champions from Arizona. And they were soon to lead there. But LaFrentz didn't get the reverse layup. He did, however draw a foul and it's oh. on Bramlett that's two when he said I'm going out to Kansas Tom has a heck of a club now at Iowa one of the top teams in the Big Ten thus far they haven't been successful against the quicker Wildcats I'll yeah. tell you the lost art of moving without the basketball that's a lost art in college basketball Simon has made it a two-point game LaFrench got nice position straight up with it oh great post position right there with Bob Lee on ESPN what a magnificent job Bob Lee does with that program Gregory who just checked in miss it Gregory also in there. Here's the feed inside of Pugh. Dick with his first basket. Back to a four-point Kansas lead. Dickerson pulls up from 15. LaFrance will clear it. The pace of the game is really high pace. Kansas by a deuce. We're under eight and a half minutes. Oh, he's got LaFrance. Great entry right there. Perfect execution. Arizona has nothing. So you got to make those big people like LaFrance and Pearson and play some defense as well. Here's LaFrance on top. Three-pointer. Got it. I'll tell you, he can let that fly. First team point guard. He plays with such poise. Gregory packs it down low. Double team on LaFrance. He still works for a jumper and got it. He's got that sweet velvet touch. He's got that great rotation, that little baseline jump shot. On the NBA level, he'll be a four-man, and you can't get the kind of help with double and triple teams like he faces. They're plus 13, baby, and they have been like the three M men. Thomas feeds inside. Oof. The French just goes forward. Just a great job of executing. Into the second half. Nice entry pass off the inbound and an easy basket again for the French. On that full court pressure. They seem to phase Kansas. Pierce. Nice he's low to the French. I tell you, so unselfish. The two love playing together. What a tandem they are. And there's the hug. The French said, why should I leave school? He said, like John Warren said, you can't buy our years of happiness. And I have a great, great deal of happiness on that Kansas campus. And I know he makes Roy Williams very happy <laughs> as well. That's right. There he is with that left hand, kissing it on a glass. Played in a national championship team with Mr. Jordan. Well, France can give Kansas its biggest lead of the night and does. Robertson's Robertson. got another rebound. Seven boards Thomas for is going to go to Thomas. Ooh, gave it back. Gave it back. It's a great look. Wow, to the trailer. There he is. He kicks it out. Now here comes the trailer right down the lane. And there's the trailer, LaFrance. Right down the gut of the defense. Secondary phase of the running game. The primary phase is the wing jump shot. The secondary phase is the trail man. Did a good job defensively as well. LaFrance has not missed the free throw tonight. Six for six. Good job handling the pressure. McGrath did a super job. Pierce. Rafe LaFrance has put on a show. Jam City! Almost.
just came up with a steal. LaFrance will lay it in. I'll tell you, the great players make great plays. Bibby made the last great play, and here comes LaFrance right back down on the other end. Rafe LaFrance has 28 points. Wise move Mark. by Thomas. He was wide open, and he's been feeling it tonight, but he knew better. Good basketball IQ right there by Thomas. LaFrance has yes, third. Sir, that's even better basketball IQ. Bring it to the PT Fear. To Thomas. Good job of reversing it. You want to swing it side to side to get it away from the trap. Got to go to LaFrance inside. Got it blocked by Terry. He almost had his head taken off. They remember the regionals last year. LaFrance has 31. Talk about Dickerson, Simon, and Bibby. So this becomes big right here. This is a big free throw. And that one ties Marcus Camby and what we saw him do a couple of years ago in the grade eight. 32 points.